Hello everyone, this is Mrs. Renu Dutt, Assistant Professor, uh, BBDU Law University. Today I'm going to teach uh, development of torts. Development of law of torts in India. To deal with malicious behavior of the people, tort existed in Hindu and Muslim law but it can be said that tort was formally introduced by the crown in India. It is based on the principles of equity, justice and good conscience. The law of torts is based on the principles of common law which is mainly in English law of torts. The application of the law of tort is an applied selectivity in Indian courts keeping in mind if it suits the circumstances of Indian society. Even Justice Bhagwati in M.C. Mehta vs. Union of India observed that we have to evolve new principles and lay down new norms which will adequately deal with new problems which arise in a highly industrialized economy. Is it law of tort or law of torts? Two theories have been given regarding this. First is Winfield theory of tort and second is Selman theory of torts. In Winfield theory, according to the law of tort theory, all the unjustifiable harm for which there is no excuse will be treated as a tort. The chief supporter of this theory is Winfield. According to him, if any injury is done to the neighbor, he can sue the other no matter if the wrong happened has a particular name or not. The person held liable should prove lawful justification. Indian judiciary supported Winsfield theory in the case of M.C. Mehta versus Union of India. Another theory is Salman theory who is the supporter of the law of torts and according to him the liability under this law arises only when the law wrong is covered under one or other nominate torts. This theory is also known as pigeonhole theory. In order to succeed under this theory, the plaintiff should place the wrong under the already present torts. Now each theory is correct from its point of view. It depends on the question of approach or looking at things from a certain angle. If we discuss the origin of tort of law, prior to 1066, the French William, the conqueror of the Norman conquest of England, the legal system was somewhat disorganized, carried out on a more or less case by case basis. After the Norman conquest, French became the language spoken in the judiciary of England and thus many technical terms in English law originated from French and taught us one of them. Further development of the law of torts in India could be discussed under the following heads. The law of torts is based on the principles of common law, as we all know, which is primarily the English law of torts. The law of tort is selectively enforced in Indian courts if suits the circumstances of Indian society. In India, the term tort has existed since the pre-independence period. Tort did not have such an important beginning under Hindu law and Muslim law compared to English law. Now to discuss what are the reasons for the slow development of law of torts in India. The first one uh, we can give is the law is not codified. The main reason for the slow process or the slow development of law of torts in India is that it is not codified and due to this there is always a problem of uncertainty in front of the court. It is very difficult to decide which action comes under which taught and which are not taught. The decision of courts are generally based on precedence. Now second is ignorance of law. Now that we all know that people are not aware of legal rights. Most people are illiterate and are unaware of their rights. So this is the basic reason that they do not move to the court 
for justice even on violation of their rights next is poverty now poverty has also distend the development of law of torts a number of people do not approach the court due to poverty they keep silence tolerating humiliating uh, experiences of extradition and tenury but now the efforts are made so that a person may be deprived of justice due to the reasons of pro- poverty arrangements for free legal assistance have been made under paragraph 39a of the constitution now the conception of public interest litigation is also contributed in forwarding uh, the applicability of the law of torts next is lack of political will power the formation of uh, adequate law and their implementation are not willfully desired by political representatives which is also restrain the development of uh, restrained in the development of law of torts then uh, next is expensive and delaying judicial system as we all know the process of judicial system is very expensive and takes a long time in uh, painting decisions therefore victims day to day uh, go to courts and uh, and is the cause of non development of law of torts landmark cases in this are mc mehta versus union of india and jay lakshmi salt works private limited versus state of gujarat now in uh, mc mehta as we have already discussed uh, it is pertinent to mention here that section 9 of the code of civil procedure 1908 was as amended which empowers the civil courts of the country to try all kind of suits which are civil in nature under the law of tort holds the jurisdiction responsible for trying cases on the fundamental of justice equity and good conscience in uh, jay lakshmi salt works private limited was the state of gujarat justice sahai held that the entire law of tort is morally based and structured therefore it would be primitive to uh, strictly shut down or eventually to the over expand ever expanding and uh, horizons of uh, tortious liability now even for social development orderly development of society and cultural sophistication the liberal approach to fraudulent liability by the court would be favorable in the light of uh, above judgments uh, and with the aim of creating a distinctive indian jurisprudence system uh, following uh, branches of the law of torts in india have been codified like judicial officers protection act 1950 indian careers act 1865 cattle trust trespass act 1871 easement act 1882 workman compensation act 1923 and Federal Accidents Act 1955, Trade and Mercantile Act 1958, Special Relief Act 1963, Air Carriage by Air Act 1972, Bhopal Gas Leak Disaster Processing of Claims Act 1985, The Consumer Protection Act 1986, Motor Vehicles Act 1988. that's all about development of torts uh signing off thank you